90% of drivers are nowadays confused when it comes to using the right motor oil or the right engine oil and the truth is, it's confusing. So if you want to learn more about using the right oil, about oil viscosities and which oil you should use depending on where you live, what you do, what car you have and how you drive it, then you should be watching this video. Over the years I have tried several oils and I have experimented using different types of oils on my cars and I have learned a lot. We have mineral oils, bar synthetic oils, full synthetic oils, we have 0W20, 0W30, 0W40, 5W40, 5W30, 5W50, 10W60 and the list goes on. There are way too many kinds of oils and each and every single bottle of oil has approvals from different car manufacturers, from Volkswagen, from BMW, from Mercedes, from Renault, from Strand, from all these car manufacturers. So to use the right oil means to use an oil which suits your car, your engine's needs, requirements, and it needs to also be approved. Now let's talk about oil viscosity. What is oil viscosity and how it differs from oil to oil? So on each and every bottle we have two viscosities, one for cold starting the engine and one at high temperatures. So for instance, when you have a 5W30 oil, we have the 5W which stands for winter, we have a viscosity at 40 degrees celsius and we have the 30, the other number which stands for the viscosity when the engine oil is at 100 degrees celsius. The principle behind the thickness or the viscosity of the engine oil is pretty simple. The oil is pretty thick when you start up the engine and as it runs through the engine it heats up and it gets thinner and thinner. It's just fine to have a thin oil, it flows rapidly throughout the engine and you have lubrication and you have the proper viscosity of the oil, but it shouldn't get too thin. If it gets way too thin, you won't have oil pressure and if you don't have oil pressure, the oil won't reach the top of the engine and other parts of the engine and you won't have lubrication. In these cases, if you go on a racetrack and the engine oil reaches extreme temperatures, you can actually damage the engine. So it really depends on how you drive your car, what you do with it, where you live, and based on these factors, you should choose your oil. For my 1.6 engine from Audi, I have an Audi A3, I can use 0W30, 0W40, 5W30, 5W40, 10W60, and even 20W50 depending on where I live and what I do with my car. Yeah, Audi recommends from the factory 5W30 and that's because I live in Europe and in Europe we don't have extreme temperatures like minus 45 degrees Celsius. And also having a 1.6 engine tells Audi that I won't go to a racetrack pretty often. So the right oil for day to day use is a 5W30 and that's what they recommend. But if I want to go on a racetrack, they will tell me use 10W60. If I live in Russia where there are like minus 40 degrees Celsius, they will tell me use 0W40, you have extreme temperatures or 0W30. And that's how things work. Now here's a real world example. The Subaru BRZ has a 2 liter naturally aspirated gasoline engine with 200 horsepower. So we have 100 horsepower per liter. The BRZ is a sports car so you can use it for day to day use or you can go with it on a racetrack. What oil does Subaru recommend for this car straight out of the factory? 0W20, which is an extremely thin oil. It's great for fuel saving, it's great for fuel economy, it's great for day to day use, but not on a racetrack. On the other hand, we have the BMW M3 E92, which has a 4 liter naturally aspirated V8 engine. It produces 420 horsepower, so it's around 105 horsepower per liter. It's pretty much the same as close to the Subaru BRZ. What engine oil does BMW recommend for this engine? 10W60, straight out of the factory. And that's because they know that BMW M3 owners will frequently go on a racetrack or they will drift the car and the engine will be subjected to extremely high RPM and thus to extremely high temperatures. And at high temperatures, the oil needs to be thicker. So basically, if you would go 
with your BRZ on Nürburgring on a racetrack all day long and you would use the 0W20 which Subaru recommends, you have pretty high chances to damage the engine. So if you want to go with your BRZ on a racetrack, you should be using at least, at least a 5W40. On the other hand, if you own a BMW M3 and you're using a 10W60 engine oil which BMW recommends for your engine and you try to cold start the car at minus 40 degrees celsius you won't have any lubrication at that temperature if you live in an extremely cold area and you own a BMW M3 you should be using a 0W40 during winter and a 10W60 during summer and BMW doesn't tell you that Subaru doesn't tell you that they are telling you that you should be using 0W20 or 10W60 they don't tell you that you can fluctuate between oils if you respect the lubrication requirement. And yes, each oil has lubrication requirements for each car manufacturer and you should be watching after that. And here are the official viscosities from three different types of oils. For 0W20 for Mobile One, we have 44.8 centistokes at 40 degrees Celsius and 8.7 centistokes at 100 degrees Celsius. At low temperatures, it's pretty fine, the engine will start up easily, you will save fuel, you will save money, it's just fine. 8.7 centistokes at 100 degrees Celsius is kind of low, we should be always having around 10 to 13 centistokes if we drive our car regularly, day to day, that's the, the proper viscosity. The oil is thin enough and viscous enough to flow throughout the engine and uh, give us the proper lubrication and the proper protection. If we move to 0W40 from Mobile One, we have 75 centistokes at 40 degrees Celsius and 13.5 centistokes at 100 degrees Celsius. And that's the optimum lubrication viscosity for 100 degrees Celsius. It's pretty optimum. If you go, let's say you drive a little bit aggressively and you hit like 110, 115 degrees Celsius, the viscosity of the oil will drop at around 9 to 10, let's say, uh, centistokes, which is pretty fine. We are at the viscosity of the 0W20 when it's at 100 degrees Celsius. So it's a, a difference. If you'll be using Castrol Edge 10W60, you'll be having 160 centistokes at 40 degrees Celsius, which is four times more compared to the, 10, to the 0W20 and you will have 22.7 centistokes at 100 degrees celsius. So if you push to the limit your BMW M3 and, you, and your engine oil will be reaching around 130-135 degrees celsius on a racetrack, the engine oil viscosity will drop from 22.7 to around 10, 12, 13 centistokes, which is normal. Now imagine if you would use a 0W20 on a BMW M3 which will reach like 130 degrees Celsius on a racetrack. Uh, viscosity will drop like to 2-3 centistokes, which is like water. And you won't have any lubrication, the engine won't have any protection, any lubrication, and you can actually cause an engine failure. So let's sum up. Depending on where you live, what car you have, what engine you have, how much power you have, and how you drive your car. You can use multiple types of oils without a problem. If you have a car with 100 horsepower, you don't drive aggressively, you live in a relatively cold area, use 0W20, it's excellent. If you, you live in a cold area but you drive from time to time aggressively, use a 0W30 or a 0W40, no problem. If you live in Europe where it isn't too hot or too cold, you drive normally from time to time on the highway, using a 5W30 or a 5W40 is just fine. If you have a sports car, you drive aggressively, you go on a racetrack frequently, you should be using a 5W50 or a 10W60 oil. If you live in a cold area but from time to time during summer you go on a racetrack, you should be using a 0W30 during winter and a 5W40 during summer, no problem, you can do that. So let me know in the comment section below if you have any other questions regarding oil viscosities and as always thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't already for more car videos and for more automotive content and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.